Hello YouTube and welcome Diecast family. Seemed like yesterday a lot of people wanted to take a look at my customs. Seems like a few of you didn't want to wait until next Monday. So uh, I said hell with it. Why not just go ahead and make a video highlighting all my custom 55 Chevy gassers. So there's a bunch of them. Plus, I'm going to go ahead and show you uh, some other 55 Chevy Gasser Customs that I have purchased. And, uh, yeah, we'll get right into it. So, first up, we got this Golf that I did. Really love this. Did some other ones to match it. So, you got the Power Wagon. And of course, a bone shaker. So I plan on doing more of them. But uh, those are the three I got so far. Then I did a more traditional golf paint scheme. And of course, I had to do a moon eyes. I'm really surprised that uh, Hot Wheels hasn't done a moon eyes. At least, not that I know of. And I had to do a gasser or a falcon. Love the way the Falcon turned out. I may have seen one since I'd done this one, but at the time that I did this one, I'd never seen nobody else do a Falcon gasser. And we have the Fockaders. Really awesome paint on this. Camera does not do this paint justice. This paint is freaking unbelievable. Then one of my favorites that I did, I just love how it turned out and it's one that took quite a few tries just because the satin paint is really really hard to get like a satin clear coat one of the clear coats I tried in satin uh, the decals it made it it made them peel up like they all just like deteriorated like 
but finally was able to find a satin clear coat. So I did the engine detail on this. Of course, I did all the chrome trim. The satin black roof. I have a Harley Quinn one I did. Or no, this is just Daddy's little mo No, it's Harley Quinn. There it is. So. Painted the interior purple on this. I just really like how this one turned out. Another one that has amazing like metallic paint that the camera does not highlight very well. And, of course, I had to do a Joker one. This was another one that was hard for me to figure out. And it was this green color. It took me quite a while to get right. I kind of knew in my head what color I wanted. But, really took some time and some experiments to get that green color right. Then it's not a 55 gasser, but I'll go ahead and show it because I keep it alongside these two in my display. And that's another Joker Nova gasser. Now the red on the front turned out, that's supposed to be red, not brown or nothing. It turned out a lot redder, or a lot like darker, more brownish than what I wanted. But I was going for like a blood splatter, like all over it. Like he just mowed down through a crowd of people or something. I think I kind of pulled it off in person. You can see that it's red up front. And I didn't want it to be like too red red. And then if you're going to do a copper one, then do it copper. That thing looks like a brand new copper penny. The camera is not going to do it justice. It looks way better in person. Unbelievable copper effect you get with this paint. Then the next four are going to be color variations of the 
Flying Tiger. So I got this one in burgundy. Of course I got it in burgundy. Really love this variation of it. U.S. Army. Falcon on the front fender. Just love how this one turned out. Even with like the copper gold looking interior. And we got this gunmetal gray. Metallic gray. And we got a really cool green one, which the camera is not doing this green justice. This green looks amazing in person, almost like a chrome green. You can see the reflection in the paint, just amazing. If you ever saw one of the old Johnny Lightning holiday rods that had the absolutely amazing paint jobs. This green looks real similar to one of them. Got the satin top. And yeah, I did drop it and chip the paint when I was doing it. I tried sanding it and painting the flat black top, but you can still see the damage. Uh, it's for my own personal collection, so I'm not going to redo it. And uh, with the naked eye, you can barely see it. The, the light has to reflect off it the right way to see it. And uh, the camera really highlights that. Then we have one here in yellow. This one I never screwed the base down on. Now uh, this is more of a gold. If you ever saw one of my spray paint videos or my airbrushing videos uh, or my paint test videos so, I don't just do Hot Wheels. I do all kinds of videos. I do paint testing, like color test. Like, these are all different paint colors I've tested. And uh, I would have made a video on them. Like, when I painted them and tested them. Like, all these spoons I test colors on. And then I... I do post videos on uh, my knife collection because I do collect pocket knives. I enjoy collecting pocket knives and stuff. So uh, if you subscribe to me, get a little bit of all kinds of different videos. or not just die cast videos. So I hope that doesn't disencourage anybody from subscribing to me. But you just saw three, four, five, six, seven more gassers that I have in the works. I just got to do decals on them. Then I have three girls. 
So I don't know what that has to do with this one at all, but uh, I did a Hello Kitty one. And I guess it's not a traditional Hello Kitty like what Hot Wheels would do. Seeing how it looks bloody and stuff. I know nothing about Hello Kitty at all. I just kind of like the decals. And I thought they looked pretty fitting on this black car. Black metallic. When I do a paint review... I have all these different colors that I have to uh, try and think of different themes to come up with. That's how I ended up with a lot of these were uh, Spectro Flame paints or RLC paints or just other different. This is RLC paint. But different paints that I wanted to review. Uh, this green color paint. Uh was about impossible to find that color tint. I had to have that like specially made at Home Depot and it's like a home paint but I was able to make it work. This one I absolutely love the paint job on. And the camera's not going to do this paint justice, but man, I don't even know how to describe it. Like a wine red that looks chrome. Now, a lot of these I do over, uh, over a chrome paint, so I use mulatto chrome and, uh, that's why on the green one and this one, you can see that like shining through. So the camera doesn't do that justice. And next we got a set of panty droppers. I think these are the same paint color with two different bases. Or something. I, I wish I could remember now. Uh, I could go back and watch the video. Where I talked about these two. I don't think I've ever shown these on one video together. They've all been seen on video, but I don't think I've ever shown them all in one video. So pretty cool to see them, I guess. But yeah, this one just beautiful, beautiful burgundy color like what I collect. And then this one just turned out a absolutely amazing like pink color. Just wow. With the gold. And the next ones are some of my favorite ones that I've done. They're all my favorite. I love them all. I'm sorry. I have a lot of time into each and every one of these. So I did like a pink chrome on the engine on that one. Pink interior.
I did a Monster Energy, with like that gum metal gray. Which is a different gum metal gray than the other one. This one's not metallic at all. The other gum metal gray one I did, it's a uh, metallic. Thought it looked good with the Monster Energy. I knew the decals would show up nice on it. Then this green one, I absolutely love this green color. This just looks like a green machine. Like I can hold this next to a green machine and they're like the same color. Of course, and the gas monkey. Look good with the white walls on that one. Now, these aren't cheap to make. Like, the tires, you end up spending six, eight dollars for a set of tires. And, and it's because you got to buy the tires that are for the gassers because one's bigger in the back and smaller in the front. And people know that on eBay, so they charge more for the gasser sets. Then the paint, the decals, the clear coat, all the time it takes. I think it's well worth it though. It can get very addicting. Also love doing the GTRs and stuff. The 510s, got a bunch of both of them. Then we got this fat lace one, another one, like a metallic black. Now these ones are all ones I purchased off the of eBay. They're not ones that I made. So first up we got this Strip Tripper Strip Creeper These were just purchased off of eBay. You can find a ton of people who make custom 55s and sell them on eBay. Got this one in green. This person did a really cool green color. Uh, it's a lot like the one I did here really similar green color awesome job now it can be real hit or miss off of eBay Here's a Holly. I think I mainly only bought them from two or three different sellers. Uh, I was impressed with the quality, so I watched their eBay site and they continued to post customs.
I've seen ones that were really bad, so just really look at the pictures good. Because sometimes, uh, maybe that's why I got lucky and never bought any bad ones was because I could pick them out of the pictures. So if you look at the pictures and something don't look right in the pictures with the decals or stuff, uh, the one guy, he uh, buys sets of decals like I do, but he only puts them on one side. So he's able to get twice the amount of... Uh, vehicles out it's bugging me the tires are bent on that but he's able to get twice the amount of customs which is fine if you only displayed in the blister or something but uh, I'm not going to be able to put it on a turntable like this and show it on your YouTube channel it's kind of goofy. I don't know why you would do that. Only put the... And I almost bought one off him once. Until I realized that the decals were only on one side. Thank God. I would have been disappointed when I got it. Then I got this Trisket 5. Kind of cool green color. And I highly recommend doing a gasser for one of your first customs. The tail lights are super easy to paint. And then you'll see when it comes around. But the the front headlights are super super easy to paint and the turn signal and that's it that's all the decal or uh, paint P hand painting you have to do so it's a very very easy one to start out with very easy to detail it that was another thing I always looked for was detail when I bought customs. Not everybody details. One of my buddies, he bought a really expensive custom off a, a famous customizer. I mean, they're a really famous customizer. And uh, they don't paint the details. They do an absolutely amazing job with the car, the packaging, everything. But they don't do the details. They don't paint the details. And that, that just bothers me. Uh, he actually wanted me to paint the details on it. And I told him because it was a famous designer's custom. I didn't feel right about painting details on it. Plus I clear coat all my cars after doing the detail. So the details are always clear coated over. Uh... In that aspect, I wouldn't be able to. So it'd be on top of the clear coat that's already on the car. And uh, I, that's another reason I wouldn't do that. Like, uh, it should have been done before the car was clear, clear coated the final time. When I'm doing customs, uh, I'll paint the cars. I'll clear coat the cars. That way, if I handle the cars, uh, my fingerprints and stuff will wipe off because of the clear coat. Uh, then I'm able to handle the cars and put my decals all over them and do all that. Then I clear coated it again. So now I got two coats of clear coat on it, but only like one or two good coats of clear coat over the decals. Then I'll come back and I'll detail it all. 
That way, if I have to wipe off uh, the detail that I did, if I screw it up, then uh, that gives me like one opportunity to do that before you're like through the clear coat. But uh, then I'm able to do my decals and then I go back and I do the final clear coat after that. So by the time I'm done doing the casting, it's been clear coated over three different times. This is not one I did though. It's a eBay purchase and he actually put a wash in the grill, which I do a lot of times I put a wash in the grill. So it's a cool little touch and it's easy to do. Now the next ones are like my pride and joy in my collection. We have this candy striper done by a uh, guy who sells them on eBay for like 135 bucks. They come carded. He even duplicates a RLC card and everything. The card's not that good. You can tell it's a co photocopy. But uh, th this is like by far the best candy striper custom I have ever seen. Like side by side with another candy striper, it's impossible to tell the difference until you look at the rivets underneath. That's the only way you can tell the difference. Like this guy freaking nailed it and here he paints cars professionally i talked to him and uh he don't really do that many hot wheels customs he does the candy striper and he started doing the drag bus and he does uh uh oh he does a cool combi on the candy striper pink and they're all amazingly well done but holy cow you can see your face in the chrome on this paint absolutely amazing beautiful this is like next to my rlc flying tigers this this is it uh when i started collecting the candy striper was going for maybe 250 bucks. Maybe even less than that. Maybe 150 bucks. I started collecting shortly after the candy striper was released, so. The next two are going to be like a 50th release. And these are just absolutely amazing set. At the time when I bought these, you could buy these two cars. Oh. I like to say for only like $100 more than what I paid for these two customs. I think I got a deal because I bought the set. So I think I might have paid... 150 or it might have been like 200 and but then I seen somebody afterwards selling this set for like a hundred dollars more than what I paid for fake ones not really fake ones uh oh I guess like Really cool customs. To like honor the real ones. Like you know you're not getting the real ones. But. Sometimes the price of the real ones. Are way out there. Uh, I think they were like. 350 bucks for one of them. I don't know. I know for a Hot Wheels car that just came out a couple years ago for the 50th, and I think this was for the uh, convention that didn't happen because, 
Well, no, that was before COVID, so. But I feel like they were convention cars. Still, I'm happy to have them in the collection. Extremely beautiful cars. Very well done. They might have been done by Crony Customs. But I know for a fact Crony Customs did this one. Absolutely amazing. I got a set of these golf vehicles I had Crony Customs make me. When I say I said, I mean a big truck hauler and six other cars all in the exact same paint color. So even though I've done a ton of customs myself, my four favorite are the last four I just showed you. I mean, mine here, that's one I'm going for. When I try my hardest to do one, it's to try and be like that so so there you go there you have it ended up being what 15 minutes longer than my Hot Wheels 55 Chevy Muscle Car Monday video definitely have a lot more customs Let me know which one was your favorite. Let me know what video you want to see next. Couldn't believe the response I got to people wanting to see this. I definitely, just in 24 hours... Got more than 10 people wanting to see this video, so. Here you go. There it is. Thanks for watching, and have an awesome day.